when the steering column of a vehicle equipped with electric power steering is replaced. Which of the following sensors must be relearned? Torque. Only the torque sensor requires relearning using the scan tool to check that the torque sensor parameter changes when turning the steering wheel or on some applications there is a steering angle sensor that requires a relearning process that provides the same function as the torque sensor. The computer uses a torque sensor or steering angle sensor as its main input for determining the amount of steering assists. It is part of the EPS assembly and not serviced separately. The steering column has an input shaft from the steering wheel to the torque sensor and an output shaft from the torque sensor to the steering shaft coupler. The input and output shafts are separated by torsion bar where the torque sensor is located. The sensor consists of a compensation coil, detecting coil, and three detecting rings. These detecting rings have toothed edges that face each other. Detecting ring one is fixed to the output shaft. Detecting rings 2 and 3 are fixed to the input shaft. The detecting coil is positioned around the toothed edges of detecting rings 1 and 2. As torque is applied to the steering column shaft the alignment of the teeth between detecting rings 1 and 2 changes. Which causes the detecting coil signal voltage to change. The PSCM, Power Steering Control Module, recognizes this change in signal voltage as steering column shaft torque. The compensation coil is used to compensate for changes in electrical circuit impedance due to circuit temperature changes from electrical current and voltage levels as well as ambient temperatures for accurate torque detection. You will use the scan tool to program the steering control module. A is wrong because there is no turn signal sensor. C is wrong because the yaw rate sensor is not used in electric power steering. The yaw rate sensor is a key component in a vehicle's stability control or electronic stability control system. Yaw can be defined as the movement of an object turning on its vertical axis. The yaw rate sensor determines how far off axis a car is, tilting, in a turn using gyroscopes to monitor the slip angle. The angle between the vehicle's heading and actual movement direction, D is generally a switch that does not require relearning plus they are not used for electronically controlled power steering control. Two technicians are discussing wheel bearing adjustment on an SLA, short arm long arm, suspension. Technician A says you adjust the front wheel bearings with the vehicle on the ground. Technician B says to use factory procedures when adjusting front wheel bearings. Who is right? B only. Technician B is correct because procedures may vary and it is best to follow OEM procedures. Technician A is wrong because the vehicle must be unloaded to make the adjustment on SLA suspensions.
Technician A says a misaligned front cradle or subframe can cause a difference in the side-to-side -side measurement of psi, steering axis inclination. Technician B says most cradles or subframes are pinned and rarely go out of adjustment unless damaged. Who is right? Both A and B. Both technicians are correct. Tech A is right because many FWD vehicles mount drivetrain and lower suspension arms to the subframe or cradle. If the frame shifted, it can cause differences in psi, included angle, setback, camber. Adjust the frame if psi and camber angles are different on the left and right side, yet included angles equal. Tech B is right because most cradles or subframes are pinned and rarely go out of adjustment unless damaged. There is no adjustment.